choose a hobby. Staying focused on your projects and the several tasks you have to complete in order to make this project successful is not small deal. The risk of burnout, both physical and mental, is a dire reality and many people fail in their goals just because they have either mentally collapsed or they have become physically sick. There is a reason why my 10-step guide to an upgraded lifestyle starts with goal setting and then in chapter 2 stresses the importance of health, fitness and sports. But how about your mental health? Obviously, it starts at home where you strive to create a long-lasting connection with your spouse, partner, children and or immediate family. This will not only bring happiness in your life, it will also do miracles on stabilizing your mental health. But at the same time, you will also feel like taking time for yourself only and engaging in an activity that gives you both pleasure and mental relaxation. So, why not choose a hobby to serve this purpose? Think back to your hobbies as a child, maybe you'd like to revive one of them. For example, I used to make kites with my grandfather and then fly them together with my brother in my local neighborhood. It was so much fun, especially when we had good wind and we were able to launch the kite from the balcony on the fourth floor of my grandparents' apartment. Making the kites was fun, but getting a strong wind and flying the kite to tens of meters up above the apartment building was just pure excitement. These days we have drones and laws on when and where we can or can't fly them. Hmm. So this week think about reviving your old hobby. If it's not practical or you've passed that age, then choose a new one. Take the time once a week to fool around with your hobby and mentally unwind. Recharge your batteries, you need it and deserve it. Until next time, this is Vojko Michnia signing off from Beijing. Ciao.